Hello this afternoon, I'm here at Olav in Llwyngurl and quite honestly I don't know which way to turn. On my left here we've got the cottage itself which is at the end one of this row of three. Got a lovely sun deck up there. Behind me you can see there's a sea view in that direction. Straight in front of me there's an even bigger sea view in that direction. So if you're looking for a coastal cottage retreat, this could be right up your street. Carry on watching, I'm going to be quick because the next holiday makers are due to arrive very soon. And if I don't get a move on, you'll be meeting them too. Now it's the usual health and safety warning when we go in here. If you're anything taller than five foot seven, you're easily gonna smack your head on the top of this low doorway. But they've very wisely made a UPVC glazed door here. And that's because straight ahead of me, there's another terrific sea view just beyond the, bar, just beyond the garden here. As you go in the hallway, the accommodation has been very sensibly adapted to put all the living accommodation upstairs. And downstairs, there's two bedrooms and a Jack and Jill bathroom, which they share. It's not massive on bedroom accommodation, but there's a double and a twin room here. And it's appointed nicely with ceiling spotlighting in one of them and exposed stonework is a nice feature too. The double bedroom's got a window at the front and a sea view beyond the garden. The upstairs here is built into the roof. So you've got a little bit of restricted headroom, but it does add to the character. The whole upstairs is open plan, so we've got the kitchen here and the lounge and dining rooms in front of me. Rather cleverly, there's some storage cupboard here and also an upstairs toilet in here as well. This kitchen is pretty well appointed. There's an oven, hob, hood. Over here, there's an integrated washing machine. Also got automatic dishwasher. And then over here somewhere, got a fridge in here too. Most people usually come and stay here in the summer, but if you do come and stay in the winter, you're going to be snug and warm with this wood burner stove in the lounge. This dining area has got plenty of room to get everybody staying here around the table. And then these doors open up to the balcony. It was a fantastic flash of inspiration for whoever thought to build this sun deck here. It's perfectly placed off the lounge and elevated enough to command a fantastic view out towards the sea there. And obviously it catches the sunshine really well in the afternoon too. I think that anybody who comes to stay at this cottage will never forget afternoons in the sunshine on this balcony and hopefully they'll have a few starlit romantic evenings here too. Anyway, thanks very much for watching this video. There's only two other things that I want to show you. First of all, there's the car parking area, which is really good over here. And the other thing is, is that there is a railway line that runs between us and the beach here, but it's not a big drawback. In fact, there's a train coming soon. So that's all I've got to show you about the old Ave, really. If you'd like to come and have a look at it, it's heavily booked up with holiday lettings. So you can only come over on changeover days normally, and they're usually on Fridays or Saturdays. So make sure you ring us well in advance on the usual number to try and make an arrangement. And if you'd like a video like this to help sell your own property, I'd also be glad to hear from you soon. If you want to be updated with future videos, please remember to subscribe to Sanderson Estate Agents YouTube channel. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Andy Sanderson and I hope to see you up here soon. Bye bye for now.